So, welcome back everybody. This is how our day two starts after the fourth. And this is crazy. We're still all banged and beat up. Possibly dying. So, we have a little bit of explaining to do. We had some, uh, well, some hardware difficulties with our PC on this end. And we lost a couple videos prior to the first horde night, which showed what we were going through. Building of that tower, building a home base, and how we can be here. Once I get done clearing up this bullshit and nurse ratchet, we'll, uh, we'll get down to it and show you what we got in store and in stock. God damn. Seriously, Karen, nobody fucking likes me. Alright, so we were doing a bunch of looting on the way here, trying to show you all that. And we have some stuff to sell to the trader. We picked up some nice stuff from the trader, but we just didn't have, you know, ammo or anything to use on it. We found a shotgun in a box, but we didn't have ammo for it. We got... We had a bunch of stuff go on, and for you guys missing that, I'm... I'm Real sorry about it, but hey, what do you do? We're here now. So, as of this point, we're getting our level one repaired that we found on the way in. We're going to get everything else done that we need to do we need to find an engine to get some concrete done we need to find well we don't need to find we need to get the materials back up to rebuild our small horde base which was a little bit underpowered for what was to come the settings are are up pretty high we have a high XP rate, we have a high spawn rate, we have... Everything's cranked, so everything becomes crazy as we progress, and we get the fastest progression we can get. So you all have something to watch that ain't just some boring bullshit about somebody grinding around. <clears throat> we were able to construct a mini bike, so we have ways to get around... As of right now, this is what our map looks like. We started down here in this area. We found a little town on the way here. I wish those videos didn't crash with the hard drive, but again, here we are. We're built right here where there was a bunch of metal nodes on the ground. There's a trader up here, and we were able to get around this town right here with the mini bike to carve it out and kind of see what was there. We got a quick glimpse before Horde Night, but I'm not exactly sure. There's no respawn on loot. There are airdrops, however, and like I said, it's set to be as crazy as we can make it, just so you all have something to see, and it's just not boring as hell. So, like I said, we're going to go visit the trader. We're going to get some of this stuff sold that we got in here that we don't need. I 
can't believe the loot on the Horde Knight. We might have loot turned way, turned up way too high, but you know what? Without respawning loot, and going and grinding, I think I think we're set okay. If you guys don't think so, give us a comment below, and and we'll see how to do it the right way. We got a half hour. All right. Well, we'll get some supplies while we're here, and maybe we'll find something. Maybe we'll find something else we can sell to them on the way through. Now this seems a little reckless because I'm going to put out there right now the base rules that I have for myself. If we die, we die. That's the end of this character. We are no longer playing. We'll have to start all over again from a different map somewhere else on a different random gen. It just seems fitting. Now, before Horde Knight hit, we did kind of come through here and scoop up what we could. Didn't bother grabbing the cement because we don't have a cement mixer yet. Need to break down some cars and try and find one of them damn things. As you can see, they almost ripped the base out from under us. We got the Horde set pretty high, pretty crazy. And for a first Horde Knight, that was awesome. Couple more bucks, take that. Trader Joe's is now open. The seedy bastard is now ready for clients. Yeah, I hear you. Oh. Oh. We got ourselves backed into court. I know what I'm doing, I swear. And so far, it's been crazy, but I've been finding some really good stuff in the trash. I think so far, almost every schematic minus Horde Knight in, in the loot bags from the dead guys, we found all the schematics other than then. So I guess rule of thumb here is, is always check the trash. You never know what you're gonna find. I'm pretty sure there's a way up. Oh! Well, that's that. Looks like it was already taken. Now, for those of you that don't know, I like to leave my servers open when I'm playing just so the random player can come on. And it leaves an element of surprise because I don't know if they're going to be friend or foe. And... It leaves that, just that much of an element of danger. I really like it. So, if, if you think that's kind of a cool mechanic, again, go ahead and leave a comment below. Remember, this, this is about entertainment, but it's all about you guys as well.
gratitude and spread. Mm. Eat shit, bud. Where is he? I hear him. Brick. It's really nice being next to this big ass snow biome over here because it seems to be there's a lot of animals that cruise through there. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but you know what? I'll take it. It's been really good for the food situation, if you couldn't tell. Well, let's see if we can find some cars to tear apart. Get our cement mixer going and get on with some repairs. Maybe if we can fit it in, we'll get a job done for Joel. See if we can get some more ammo or something worth a damn out of it. Of course, it's raining. I swear I know what I'm doing. We forgot our wrench back at base. I believe we used our, our wrench to make that workbench. Change of plan. We're going to do a job for Joel instead of breaking down cars and hopefully we can get a wrench picked up while we're looting on the job. Supplies. Friend, I'm in trouble. Would you consider help? You the man. We'll do a buried supplies really quick. I know they're not worth much, but hell, it's something. Before we take that, we're going to make ourselves a way out, just because what spawns when when you open it probably isn't going to be nice on the, the settings we got. Not a bad haul.
have great prices. Here you go. Fuck you do. Whatever you need, just say the word. Well, we don't have a magnum as of yet, so I guess we'll go with the first aid kits because we almost died on that first horde. Might as well pick up another job if he's got one close by. Yeah, we'll come back. Let's find a 762 to go with all these rounds we're finding. You've got to be kidding me. I think we have the loot turned up real a little too high, but you know what? Screw it. We're gonna enjoy it for this one. We'll turn it down for the next one. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, now we can get on to trying to find that engine for that cement mixer. I know it's a big waste, but like I said, I want to get uh, a bunch of XP progression to try and get this to be as crazy as possible, especially with the fun pimps giving a shout out about how uh, they, are you kidding me, they, how they want to have the new Alpha 20 out by around Halloween. So we're going to do our best to, to make this as crazy as possible the whole way through. So I think and I'm going to put the the zombies up to sprint during daytime too because this is this is even a little boring for me I don't know how you guys feel about it but like I said throw me a comment down below let me know what you want to see go on with this series and we'll see if we can try and make that happen Go! 
Oh, that's no good. That's no good. I need to calm down. <laughs> Well, we did say we needed to take apart cars, so here we are. There we go, look at that. right on some what looks to be the end loot. Now I don't know if you all know this and you probably don't but look at that. Uh, I started off as a council player on seven days to die and I somehow got fortunate enough to gain a PC to actually play this on PC now. Um, so, I'm a little behind on the POIs, and we're basically learning this together, or at least I'm learning this right in front of you. So it's gonna be a bit of a curve, and I don't know, I think it's kind of awesome to show you guys my learning experience and progression through the game as you're watching it. Hell, we just might have everything on our guy to walk up to that bench and build a cement mixer. Let's see. We do not. Forge steel, huh? We have, oh yes we do. Horde night was awesome. We can do this right now. What? Mechanical parts. Oh, well, we're waiting on that. We might as well go finish looting that POI. Stupid, stupid, got too bold.
Oh shit. Alright, I think that's it. Now we're going to have to come back for that safe. I know it's down there, but we don't have any lock picks. And I don't think we're going to smack that open underwater without drowning to death. Oh, and then greed got the better of me. We'll see what that airdrop has to offer. cement mixer we did everything we needed to do we're pretty pretty happy about this day started off pretty shitty but i think we're rounding it out pretty good and i think with that we're gonna leave it right there and if anything happens during the night while i'm doing all the boring stuff like mining and making cement well i'll cue you guys back in and show you the footage of it and whatever happens happens but as always, I really appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.